Hey guys, we're on Hallett Road, which is at the intersection of Cane Hill and Emerald Hill. And there is a project just about the TOP. It's called 8 Hallett, and it's really left with a two bedroom up for grabs. So let's get it. So we're just outside the project right now and it's a freehold brand new development that's going to TOP anytime now. It's just a stone throw away from Somerset MRT and let me give you the rest of the stats. So the site area is 10,733 square feet and houses 44 units in a 12-storey tower. The location is unbeatable, price point is desirable and most importantly, there can be only one buyer. Okay, we're going to jump straight into the condo facts. So this development was done by Lianhuat Group and if you see their portfolio, you'll find that they have Chinese and Australian notable projects that have already done up and one of their most notable ones is one Dusun residence in Balestia. So the land tenure is freehold with 44 exclusive units. The all-time high was 3,698 PSF. The all-time low is 3,229 PSF. And now let's dive into the site plan and I'll walk you through the facilities. So here you'll find that you have the drop-off point which is over here, then the guard house which is over here. Number three is a private lift lobby. Number four is your gym over here, toddler playground. Then you have the swimming pool number six which is a lapping pool. This is a kids pool number seven. Number eight is a barbecue area. Number nine is a yoga lawn. Oh, that's very nice. Number 10 is a meditation lawn and 11 sitting corner. So that's basically the site plan over here. So this is one tower, remember it's one tower of 12 stories. Check it out. Okay, so we're very close to TOP and the show flat is already torn down. There is only one unit left. So let's go to this virtual tour of the previous show flat that was there for you to get an impression and a taste of things. So this is the living room of a 667 square feet unit. You can tell that ID has been done up. We're just gonna scoot around and see. So this is the bathroom, white marble, and this is like brass chrome fittings towards the shower screen. Very luxurious, I like it a lot. Then they've got timber floorings, very nicely done. Wallpaper obviously done up for you. So this is balcony looking in, right? So obviously there's a slider. And this is the kitchen's view out. Island counter looks to be quartz. Then you've got oven, burner, high-end. Then we're in bedroom number two. Oh, I like the ID. Check it out. The wallpaper is very nicely done. So let's look at the wardrobe. So this will be actual wardrobe. So it's like a very clean, the carpentry all the way to the top. So you can put stuff above. They've done up a carpentry table, customized for um, compact spaces. So this is going to be quite useful if you put in, you know, a single bed. There's a window over here. So master bedroom, zoom out a little bit. Same wardrobe. You've got Queen size bed, side tables, nice ID done up for you. Okay, this is full height glass panel. So you got natural light coming through. Let's see, pocket doors that slide into the gaps of the wall. All right, very snazzy. Now let's go to the actual unit floor plan to give you an idea of what you might be buying. You're going straight into the main door over here, which is bringing you into the kitchen. It's an open kitchen. So. This one brings you into the dining, you got a nice living area, then this is the private lobby that brings you into the balcony. And then the bathroom is just by the side of the living room. Then bedroom number one, common bedroom is to the left, to the right you have... Okay, so you are uh, a walkway in, then the master bath is to the left, and then the full bathroom and then wardrobe is to your right. So this is 797 square feet, priced at 2.902. 508 which is 3642 PSF so at the point of shooting disclaimer subject to change this is the offering on this unit the spatial distribution for you so your living and dining area is like 26.4 meters and which is 3.5 meters wide in terms of breadth then the private lobby is 2.5 meters the depth of the balcony is 2.1 meters the whole balcony space is like 7.2 square meters master bedroom is 19.7 including bathroom so this space over here what about the width 3.15 by 2.75 queen size bed easily 
with side tables this way easily and then uh, you've got another one which is the, the other bedroom is quite generous it's 9.8 square meters most common bedrooms what 8 square meters something like that so this is 3.36 oh very generous the width is 2.79 meters and then you've got the bathroom like just in the corridor over here so this is actually quite ergonomic if you like if you live here you just go out to your right is the bathroom then master bedroom bathroom is over here and closable one then this is all wardrobe space okay let's zoom into the location and i tell you what you're buying because you're really buying the land so this is it harlot for a little bit of orientation you've got the emerald hill conservation area over here then chatsworth international school is by the front emerald link center point is to the right where original cold storage is then you've got going down is carpet carpet terrace to the back og then uh, all the way down this stretch you're gonna get to plaza sing right then there's the got. so let's you turn go back and you'll see this is kto then orchard central orchard gateway so you've got all the retail all the eateries 313 at somerset then you've got sydney leisure mandarin gallery neon city so you know what that means takashimaya wisma atria then ion so you're really spoiled for choice with wheelock place short theater and tanks for your shopping not to mention paragon and just very close to you is apple orchard and then you've got heron just by your side how convenient is that truly unbeatable location if you're thinking about schools then you've got nearby ones that include both international and local so you've got iss chatsworth international school as well as anglo chinese junior anglo chinese primary River Valley Primary and Farrer Park Primary, St. Joseph Institution Junior. So if you look at this graph over here, you'll find that we have done a comparison graph over here with 38 Jervois all the way down to Bishopgate residence. And this is a mix of a one kilometer radius. There are upcoming new launches which are under construction like Cascaden Reserve, 19 Nassim, all the way down you will see that we have 38 Jervois, 120 Grange and uh, Cliveden at Grange so you can see that some of them are under construction some of them have already TOP like 2019, 2011 and even Nassim Residences at 2011 but you can see and peg the price range the average PSF is 2000 PSF all the way up to 3000 721 PSF if you're looking at the newer ones and the more central ones the ones that are closer to the heart of Orchard, like Tree Orchard by the Park or uh, Tomlinson Height, they are all ranging towards 3,324 to 3,700. So 3,300 range all the way up to 3,700 range. This is average. They have traveled as far as 3,800 PSF or even the Nassim $4,165 PSF in terms of all-time high. So where are we? The asking for 800 is 3,600 average PSF for the final unit. And I think that this asking is very reasonable. If you just consider the filled Suntak on block that was supposed to be high point and was going to translate into $3,533 PSF break even we're just talking about break even not even factoring the future appreciation in terms of um, they wouldn't put in some margin let's say 20 percent then you can obviously see that they will carry the prices forward for it harlot going forward and any on block or any new development that comes up has to move into this kind of range and you can just basically foresee the appreciation going forward so i'll leave that up to your imagination so if you're looking for a very fresh two-bedder that's just about the TOP to call home or just a very posh rental unit to generate some yield in the CCR while waiting for the whole area to appreciate, then I think this is something that you don't want to let slip. So that brings us to the end of our video. I'm Nick Tan, Sang Singapore. If you want to see any more of such reviews, then please type them in the comment section below and smash that like button. I'll see you soon.